All right, welcome to today's um, episode of my video blog talking about GMAT and GRE. Um, I really appreciate you joining me today. One question we get in our prep classes um, here in Atlanta all the time is when should you take the GMAT or GRE test um, after a prep class? So today I'm here to kind of talk about that just to kind of help you guys understand, you know, what things you need to do in terms of when you need to be taking the, um, the, te the test after a prep class. One thing a lot of students misunderstand is they figure, hey, you know, when I take a prep class for the GMAT or GRE test, hey, let me go ahead and take the, the, the test right after. And a lot of people, if they finish a class, say, like on a Wednesday, they will schedule the test for like the Thursday, the, the very next day or maybe that weekend. That is usually a bad idea. The reason is because one of the things you find out in a really good prep course, at least the prep course we do here at Success Prep, is that after a prep course, even though you've run through a lot of the concepts in the prep course and stuff like that, there are still a number of things individually for each student that you still kind of need to work with. You may find out that, you know what, you're really, really weak in geometry, and that might be something you want to spend two to three weeks after the prep course to kind of deal with. So my recommendation and my tip today really is, after a prep course, really give yourself another two to three weeks of personal study to make sure you can really work on some of those areas that are still kind of challenging for you. Um, and that number is flexible. It could be two weeks, it could be a week, it could be three weeks. But I'm finding out generally about two to three weeks is a good time after a prep course to go take the test. And that's my tip for today. And I really hope and I wish you guys all the best as you study for the GMAT and GRE test.